can't keep you a minute. Looks like you had a party last night, Vicar. I know. <laughs> Those are my sons. He's got expensive taste, hasn't he? <laughs> They're just empty bottles for the school play. Yeah, but who emptied them, eh? Hey? <laughs> Shut up, Paul. Right. Thank you for seeing us earlier, like. I got a darts match. I did try to get him to chuck it. But I told her we wasn't married yet. You wait till we are. I'm not giving up my darts. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, yeah, and how are you going to make me? <laughs> it's very nice to see you, whatever the circumstances. Now, uh, where were we last week? Oh, yes. Now, last week we spoke briefly about the significance of the wedding ceremony from a Christian viewpoint. Well, now, this week, let's try to find out what each of you hopes to get from the union. Pardon? <laughs> what are you expecting? Expecting? I'm not expecting. Who says I'm expecting? No, I didn't mean that, Tracy. I'm sure you're not. Are you? Did I just say I'm not? Yes, of course you did. What I mean is, what do you, as a woman, hope to get out of marriage? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Lamb, he just won't take this seriously. Well, let's start with that then. Now, Paul, is Tracy right when she says that you won't take marriage seriously? Of course it's serious. For the man it verges on the tragic. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound exactly enthusiastic, Paul. I don't mind. Oh, well, no, that's not enough, you see. That's not enough. You must really want it. Oh, I want it, all right. It's getting married I'm not sure about. <laughs> Shut up, Paul. Now, look, you've asked me to marry you before I leave for my new parish. But quite frankly, I don't think your relationship is sufficiently secure for you to consider marriage yet. You what? Oh, well, easy come, easy go. <laughs> you don't know nothing about us. We love each other. Yes, but you also have to live with each other. And for that, you have to know how to communicate. Now, for instance, uh, have you discussed children? I am not pregnant. No, <laughs> I'm talking about communication, Tracy. Now, for example, my marriage wouldn't have survived during the last few months if Emma and I didn't know how to talk to each other. I mean, we had the most frightful rows, really going at it, hammer and tongs. All right, but just because your marriage is on the rocks, why should we suffer? <laughs> <laughs> you see, my wife didn't want to leave this parish, but through discussion, I was able to persuade her to change her mind. You're not changing mine. Come on, Paul. Yeah, all right. And if you won't marry us, we'll find a vicar who will. Uh, Tracy, wait a moment. Cheers! And this time, one that doesn't have a drink problem. <laughs> What? What are you doing? It's watered down ginger ale. Looks realistic, doesn't it? It's certainly fooled Paul and Tracy. You can finish it off if you like. No, thanks very much. What I really need is an aspirin.